Today I'm back with an update on System 76's Cosmic Rust desktop, but this time we're talking about additional apps and community development that's hovering around as the team at System 76 is busy crushing bugs. To start out, great news for Fedora users as we get an update on what Fedora Cosmic Sig has been up to. During the Fedora 40 release party, Ryan ABX gives us an update. And for those of you that didn't know, I talk about the Fedora Cosmic Sig spin of the popular Linux distribution Fedora. The Cosmic desktop environment is coming to a Fedora near you. Yes, during the release party, which was May 24th through the 25th, the Sig or the special interest group talked about Cosmic desktop on Fedora and what scope and goals that they have. The goals here are to create and maintain RPM packages for Cosmic's components and promote development and issue tracking of upcoming Cosmic desktop environment by Fedora users. So basically get a community going on Fedora as well, instead of just Pop! OS to get those bugs busted as soon as the release is here. Develop a Cosmic Spin and a Cosmic Atomic variant for Fedora 41 Plus. That's right, if you were thinking this is far out, no it's not. 41 Plus is the goal here, and we're currently on 40, so not long to wait as Cosmic gets ported over to other Linux distributions. Another great app from, from Jeremy Solar, part of the System76 team, wrote a PDF reader with libcosmic yesterday. That's right, now they're there's a native PDF reader applet available for Cosmic desktop users. This is currently being tested and is not supposed to be part of the core Cosmic components, features, or applets. Instead, it is going to be basically, quote unquote, a community applet in the works. But there's many more applets being built out by the community. Even though the Cosmic desktop is not quite yet published, hopefully we're getting the alpha version here very soon as the team continues working on it. But there are many works in progress progress as well as additions by the community. Here's a work in progress called Linux DRM, Syncop J, which may not mean much to you, but this is a backported xwayland 24.1 setup, which will enable explicit syncing for X11 applications. Also the latest NVIDIA 5.5 beta driver and the latest EGL Wayland is also in staging. And the only thing waiting for the explicit sync to get working is this work in progress here, very close to happening. So let's rejoice X11 users as the community and team is focused on getting compatibility ready for Cosmic. Again, more exciting developments in the community that's supporting Pop! OS. The public template makes it much easier to create Cosmic applications. Cosmic application template allows you to create and develop your own code for the Cosmic desktop. Very simple to use, very simple to start. Thanks to Eduardo Flores for supplying this because many applications have started coming out of these templates. One really cool application here that's the getting developed for Cosmic desktop is a application that allows you to talk to a local LLM. Llama 3 here. You can see that a user is typing in a question and asking Llama who they are and they're changing around the various different language models that are available on the system. And you can see that the language models are actually answering back all through an interface directly on the Cosmic desktop. This is exciting to see, especially with all these LLMs and AI available online. Well, here Here's how to talk to one locally and keep it local. I'm sure that the app might have more availability in the future to talk to ones online as well, but fantastic work as they stay on the bleeding edge of development here on the desktop environment before it's even released, which makes me really excited to use Cosmic Desktop because the community is invested. And as you can see here, it's called Cosmic Applet for Olama Chat. You can get it directly from the GitHub source build and it tells you exactly how to build it. If you want to try it out before it gets released to one of the major repos like Flathub. But talking about that, we have a new Rust module called Cosmic Widget. The Cosmic Widget library, this module contains a wide variety of widgets used throughout the Cosmic app ecosystem. But well, what is this good for? It's good for helping you chain together various different components that already exist in the desktop environment to use with your specific application. You can look at things like creating columns and pushing the name and title directly to a window with this widget. This is a great start for developers trying to develop applications via Rust for the Cosmic desktop experience. So you will see a lot of this type of expansion of modules and widgets in order to make it easier for development on the desktop environment itself. Fantastic work by the team. Another fantastic thing is Michael is hard at work creating a guidebook for the Lib Cosmic app development actively being developed and improved. And we can see here an introduction or beginning for the actual book 
look itself. Again, just another barrier to break for people who want to create applications for the desktop environment. It's great to see such a hard push for allowing integration of varying different community apps into the desktop environment, which not a lot of desktops can boast having as they are just not focused on outside applications instead of on their own specific developments. Anyways, Wiznokes here has another applet called Time Applet Localization version two, and it is a new pull request for improvement on the date time applet. We also have theming export to Visual Studio Code. This is another development that allows you to use the same colors, borders, and outlines of the desktop environment directly to VS Code whenever you start using Cosmic Desktop. Some other great fixes happening is now we have the header bar buttons actually inheriting icon and text color from the header bar container. As you can see a display right here in the middle of how that is fixed. Cosmic Web Apps is a great application that I recently highlighted, but guess what? Now it is officially available on Flathub as something to install and download directly from the repo, which is fantastic. What this application does is allows you to basically create browser apps or web apps to be directly tied to an application on your desktop. That way it can be easily launched from the desktop environment instead of having to use a browser. Fantastic work as this was quickly built and pushed out to Flathub by 11H Soft. There's another community feature here being added called adding typing assist section with keyboard repeat rate and delay. This is something that I absolutely love. People are giving us even more settings available. Important things like for me to shorten up the delay between typing, basically when you smash down a key, how long should it delay for? Well, now we have that feature built right into the desktop settings. All great work done by the community. And if you think the video is great, make sure to smash that like button for me as we move on to cosmic backups. That's right. If you want a great desktop and desktop environment, you need to make sure that you keep track of your system. Cosmic backups is a simple to use backup application using rustic for cosmic desktop. As you notice, it's currently under active development, but what makes a good overall desktop environment personally is one that has a simple to use backup application so that we can create our backups whenever we need. And thanks to Honeybun for starting this out again from that cosmic app template. We're really starting to dive deep into the community as they keep giving us more and more applets to use with the cosmic Rust desktop. Eduardo Flores also giving us a new way to be able to add very basic cosmic noise as the app is called cosmic noise you can add in your own background noise anything from birds storms waves wind and white noise this new cosmic noise applet was heavily inspired by blanket for those of you using blanket it's a very simple to use application as you can see here blanket allows you to click on whatever sorts of sounds that you want or even remix or push them put them together and then hit play you can also specify how loud or quiet each of the individual noises are that are getting meshed together. Another great one by Eduardo Flores. And moving on to Burak, giving us Power Page and Power Profiles. As any of us know, Power Profiles are very important to a laptop user. Whether you want a performance, power saving, or balance mode, aka hybrid, now we're getting that using the System76 Power Daemon, which now includes ZBus. This will help save power on the system and improve our settings capability by being able to choose how we want to use our power. If you think it's been hard to follow along with how many things are getting developed by the community, well, that's because it actually is. There's so much hype around this desktop environment. Everybody's seemingly wanting to help and contribute. There's a whole System76 team hard at work here, but there's also a whole bunch of community members who are also just as eager to help. It's a fantastic thing to see these worlds coming together. And another great thing to see here is an updated iced and drop WGPU power preference. Well, what does that do? Now we can have the proper applications launched on the correct type of GPU that have. Giving us a performance boost, these are the types of things and tweaks that people are looking at in order to make sure that when System76's Cosmic Desktop comes out, it is performant. And this all brings us back to Fedora plus Cosmic. Like we talked about at the beginning, there are many ports happening for this particular desktop environment. If you are using NixOS, yes, there is a port happening. If you are using Fedora, yes, there's another port for this. Of course, for Pop OS, it's not a port, it's the default. And finally, if you are on Acai Linux, there's also another port happening for this. Already four Linux distributions are going to inevitably 
in the future be able to use the cosmic desktop experience it looks like this desktop environment is going to be a big hit and spread across the board what do you think about this particular linux desktop are you going to try it are you excited about it let me know in the comments section below as i personally am in this video i wanted to take a moment and thank all the community contributors and highlight some of their work if you like videos like this make sure to subscribe below so you get them more frequently and if you want to check out how gnome desktop is spending all its money it might even cease to be a desktop environment before long check out my previous video i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching linux can be hard to understand but i take the most commonly used terms commands and subjects in linux and i break them down into simple to read documents including linux terms flashcards a checklist a cheat sheet and a mind map and if you're ready to level up your linux experience and knowledge go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets